when we uploaded very early videos, we've had offers of free legal assistance. It's very hard for us to take these offers seriously as it's difficult to ascertain who is legitimate and who is just trying to personally gain from our situation, potentially at both ours and the cruising community's cost. Since the last few videos have been published, we've also had people reach out both publicly and privately wanting to donate sums of money to help us rectify our situation and cover any perceived legal fees that they think we have or will incur. I want to be very clear, to date Leopard Catamaran have not threatened us with legal action and we are still hoping for a constructive outcome to the situation. Trent and I personally believe that we should not profit from this situation, but that being said, even if Leopard and Robertson and Kane meet our current requests, each of us is still facing a large net loss. In the past, Trent has personally donated what might be considered reasonable sums of money at an opportunity cost to himself to people he feels are struggling and have had sets of events hold them back despite continuing to try and succeed. Based on this, we feel that if it's people's choice to contribute, to try and help rectify our situation, then that's their choice and we will provide a link below. If the money is not used in achieving a positive outcome for our situation and the warranty process, then we commit to using the donations and the YouTube income for these particular videos to assist other people we personally interact with, with preference in mind to those in the Liverboard community. I want to refer people to a previous video where Trent, at his personal cost and working with Avery Waitronics, constructed, built and purchased what is retail an extremely expensive Dillon tension meter. He did this due to himself and others that he personally met not having access to a device to safely tension their own rig or check their rigging after certain companies just do it by feel. We have since proven in at least one instant that a Leopard 45 was grossly outside of the recommended rig tension after being tensioned by feel by an expensive company in Europe. It is in this spirit that we will accept donations as people are offering them because it's their right to choose how to spend their money. If these funds are not used or required by us to rectify our situation, then we commit to using them for something that is not for our personal gain. For now, we also ask that you please keep in mind that Leopard Catamarans is a large corporation, so it may take them some time to formulate a constructive response, especially given the history of this boat and the negative experiences that Trent and Tynan had with certain Robertson and Kane employees. Leopard will have to go outside their normal procedures to rectify what we hope is an abnormal amount of issues Robertson and Kane have caused in a single hull, some of which date back to the early days of handover in Cape Town. Although we haven't asked for it, we really appreciate the support of other well-respected cruising YouTube channels. We hope to see you out there sometime, and if you haven't seen their channels, take a look.